Hello and welcome back to another video. Right, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of my recent purchases and also some of my recent gifts slash donations. Uh, some of them are retro and some of them are sort of retro-esque sort of thing. So, right, so the first one is from a very generous man called Brian Dickinson from Clive's Retro Bar. And he's gave me a tape cleaner and demagnetizer. He's seen my Spectrum sort of refurbs and he said, Do you want one of these? It's, it's being used. Just check the solution. It's yours if you want it. So I suppose you could say that's my first, they are retro then aren't they, they've got to be. Anything with how's the website on in my eyes is retro. Uh, path group policy, yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's a sound. Uh, the next thing he sent me is this. I believe that's a homebrew game he said called Pentacorn Quest for the ZX Spectrum. And it is very, very nice. It looks like it's just come out of a factory. So it's a homebrew game, and it's a game I've never played before. And I think it's been out for a while. Uh, this game is manufactured in the United Kingdom by Phoenixware, and is used under license from the original program designer. So, da, 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 da. let's see. It's got a nice, cool printed inlay. Right, so the story of this game is acorns, magic acorns, in the world of Pentacorn Quest. Acorns are made of solid gold, they hold great power and magic, and are a cause of dispute between forces of light and darkness. But whilst these two factions went to war, the acorns mysteriously disappeared. So basically the objective of the game is to find all five missing acorns, deposit them in a sacred sanctuary, solving many puzzles in between. Pentacorn Quest is a mixture of a platformer and an arcade adventure with eight different types of enemies to avoid, countless puzzles, are, countless puzzles to solve, and a can't even read that. Yeah, can. Countless puzzles to solve and a magical world to discover. So basically, just pop it in your spectrum and do your thing. Uh, yeah, so bitmap software. Brian, thank you very much for that, matey. I haven't tried it yet, but um, I will be trying it in the next couple of days. Uh, also, he sent me this as well. This came, and I was like, what the bloody hell is that? Anyway, I've opened it, and he did say, you know, it was going to be sent direct from the, this place I'll mention in a minute. So, it is a fantastically looking Clive's Retro Bar mug. Now, I'm not quite sure to use it, or have it on display because I think that the actual group logo is that and it is absolutely fantastic I love it so I, if I start using it I have a tendency to drop on mugs so it could end up on display somewhere maybe I don't know I'll have a, I'll have a think I'll have a drink out of it and I'll say cheers to Brian and um, I'll decide what I'm going to do with that very cool item thank you again Brian now this is sent from oldschoolpixels.com now I've had my eye on these guys for a while they keep popping up on Facebook and I think I'm actually following them on Facebook maybe I don't know so there they are there now I'm in need of a new mouse mat where's my mouse mat this is grubby as anything I don't know if you, how well you can see that but it's just it's grubbed up and I can wash it but I just can't be asked. this one as well is slightly coffee stained and that should be say so I'm thinking of getting I've seen a really cool back to school one or school days one dead colourful really nice graphics on it sort of thing so um, I have got in this box I don't know where to put it there was uh, a discount code so when you buy something from the website apply the code you get a discount I don't know where to put it actually so it's it's around somewhere anyway so but anyway Brian thank you again my friend these gifts are very generous of you and will go to very good use so thank you very much for them mate Right, so the... Do, 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 uh, how many have I got? Oh, second one. Now, this is a purchase. I've got my eyes itchy. Oh, bloody hell. Freaking hell. Yeah, this is a purchase off eBay. And it is inside here. Now, it's 3D printed. And it was $24.99. And it is... A USB... Commodore 64... Light. I think the description was desk light 
but I'm, I'm assuming you can get some 3Ms and stick that to the wall. I've had it on, it's very, very bright, and it's quite nicely printed as well, in my opinion. So I'm no 3D expert, or 3D printer expert, but it's light, but I expect it to be light anyway. So it feels, feels alright, all works, yeah, $24.99. The guy who does these uh, also does Spectrum ones, uh, Sega ones, you name it. There's a few, few ones like what was it? Terminator. I might get that one as well. They're quite nice. So yeah, that was twenty four ninety nine. Um, do, 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 PLA plastic, just in case anyone's wondering what what it's made of. Righty ho. So um, have I got? Have I got any more? I've got. I've got these two, which I'm leaving to the last because I'm going to go through them. Um, no, I don't think I have. Anyway, so anyway, it's me the last sort of purchases. Now, around about this time of year, a guy called Martin Grundy puts up on the various gaming pages, Commodore 64, Commodore Amiga, and Sinclair Spectrum. Possibly other ones, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, what are they? They are 2023 calendars. Now, I normally get myself one of them, which is an Amiga calendar, but this year I've decided, I don't know why, to get two. So I have got these two. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through these calendars because I always do them every year and if you don't want to see what's on them, look away now. January is Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. February is Cannon Fodder. Lemmings 2 for March. Flashback for April. Super Frog for May. My birthday is the 31st of May. Just in case anyone wants to send me some gifts for my birthday. Desert Strike June. Uh, June 2, the battle for a cat. Iraqis, I don't know whatever that says. Soccer kid, wow, August. Cracker of a game, cracker of a game. Micro Machines, oh yeah, another fan fa favourite of mine on the Amiga that. Hours and hours and hours of fun, that's September. Um, Tulliken 3, not one of my faves, but you know, it's out there. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we have here? Frontier Elite 2. Not a bad game. Not a bad game. That's November. And December is a cannon fodder. On the back, you've just got your various sort of things. <clears throat> so let's welcome to 2023 slash 1993 calendar. These were games released in 1993. Right, onto the Spectrum one. Right, these are fucking crackers, these. The, the actual print on these. So we've got Super Hang On for January. Just trying to do this without bending it. Uh, February we have Firefly. I should just really show you the back. It's, it's easier, but... Cats fighting again. Tetris for March. Cybernoid. April. An absolute wow, just this game is just wow, it just brings back so many memories and just wow. Target Renegade. Target and Renegade. That's that's May. That's also my birthday. Venom strikes back for June. Dark side. Don't think I've ever played that. Looks alright though. Uh, oh well, this is good. We're time stood still. What a cracker. What a crack of a game. Oh yeah, Last Ninja 2. And that is for September. Wake me up when September ends. Brilliant. Operation Wolf. Currently in the process of playing that on the Spectrum with the light gun. A fantastic game on the Spectrum. Our type, another cracker of a game. Absolute cracker. Uh, and Robocop for December. Another absolute belter of a game. And as I say, with the Amiga one, you've got, you know, your two thingos. 
So these were twelve ninety nine each, and I think it was around about two fifty shipping. Um, you've got a nice glossy front and a nice glossy back, and some really high quality printed images in uh, inside. Now, when I got this one, I think it was last year or the year before, I said I was going to sort of like don't throw them out because they're nicely nice printed pictures. I was going to make them into um, how do you call it like. Um, wall art, I was going to put them in frames and stuff like that, but things have changed since then as you know, the backdrop now was my uh, sort of frame poster wall, so I no longer have uh, them frames apart from one or two that are just behind me, you can just up that way sort of thing, so I'm going to decide on what I'm going to do, I might have like sort of a monthly sort of uh, picture that goes up on the wall maybe, I don't know, but yeah, they're, they're really nice to frame, I think you can fit them in, I think it's um a4 frame possibly is it possibly an a4 frame i don't know but yeah anyway so there we go some nice pickups so i just think i've, I've forgot anything else got the light i've got the um uh, i've got a recent give oh I've, I've got given this as well uh where is it Right, so do you remember when I got the Spectrum and then I got the carcass given to me, it was just the shell and the tape player and the keyboard. I was also given this as well. And again, with this one I've got here, here the shell, it's just literally a shell. There's sort of like, nothing sort of like, something at the front there, like a bit of a hole. This is a bit knackered, that comes off, but obviously you can get replacements of them. Keyboard just lifts like that. There's no membrane and there's nothing inside. So, yeah, it was given to me by the same guy who gave me uh, the, the carcass. And just to show you, there's nothing, nothing inside. So I'll possibly, I'm thinking possibly, you know, I'm, I'm doing a spectrum shelf in one of these shelves here. And I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to sort of like stick it back down again. And that'll just be on display. I'll just, just slap that on display. That was the very, very first spectrum I wasn't. I didn't own one of these back in the day, but I borrowed one. I, th I think I borrowed my cousins at the time, and uh, stupid ass forgot to give me the tape player with it as well. So I sat in the house dead excited. And I was like, can't play nothing. And he lived miles away as well. So yeah, that was a very frustrating time in my life. So I think I think that's it. There's got to be something else. I've got that. That. Yeah. So that wraps up today's video. Uh, thanks again to Brian Dickinson for these gifts. They will come in very very useful. Make them telling you. Um, and thanks to Matt and Grundy for a speedy delivery of the calendars as per usual. I don't know where I'm going to put two calendars. Um, I'll find a space, I'm sure. I might alternate them one month. I mean, you get one month spectrum, I don't know. But I've got the Amiga one still over there, just on the wall. You can't see it, but I'll show you uh, off, off shot now. Uh, we're in November, so we've got another month left on that one. So yeah, that'll just get put in a box and possibly maybe displayed. I mean, to be honest with you, if, if I got a bigger room, if I had a bigger sort of house, Everything would be on display. I'd have a massive wall full of things, but I'm limited in this room, what I can do. And this backdrop you see now, as I say, I just wanted a bit of a change, so yeah. So anyway, yeah, I'll stop waffling on. Um, coming up on the channel, more Spectrum stuff. I'm still yet to clean the first Spectrum that I've got. Uh, I've got a CRT given to me as well with a built-in video player, a v a VHS. Um, and I've still got the... The one I was giving off. To me by a friend the tape heads are aligned that's working now that's all perfect and i'm in the process of trying to make the light gun work on a commodore amiga and uh, so yeah stay tuned and um cheers for watching as always and i'll catch you in the next video nice shooting son what's your name siri